Well, what, what we're going to do in the first year course is we're going to look at many of the uh, most famous studies in social psychology. And these, on the one hand, are terribly dramatic studies which show the power of the social world in affecting what we do, how we behave, uh, the good things we do, and sometimes the appalling things that we do. Now, to many people who've studied psychology before, um, these studies will be very familiar. You'll know them. You'll have studied them before. And so in presenting them, I also want to, in a way, point up the differences between uh, university and school. Um, first of all, uh, when you look closely at many of these studies, what you find is that the received wisdom, the, the textbook accounts of these studies are actually wrong, um, uh, that these studies are rather different from the way that we are used to. So it's encouraging people to look at things for themselves, to not just believe what they are told, especially in secondary sources, but to ask questions about what actually happened. Um, are the explanations valid? Can it make sense of the behaviour? So to encourage people to be critical, to think for themselves, to look at the evidence and make up their own minds on the basis of the evidence. Uh, and in many ways, I think that's encapsulated um, uh, in a point I often make about the motto of the Royal Society, which is uh, the most prestigious and one of the oldest uh, scientific societies in the, in the world. And its motto is, um, it's in Latin, um, it's nullus in verba. Uh, and what that means is don't take anybody's word for it. It means don't believe something because I tell it to you. Uh, don't believe it because I've got professor in front of my name. My argument is only as good as the evidence that I can present to support it. So don't look at me, look at the evidence. Don't feel you have to agree with me, assess the evidence. And if my arguments make sense, fine, agree. And if they don't, disagree. And what we want to get you to at university is to be independent, critical thinkers, not people who simply reproduce what we tell you. One of the things that's so exciting about psychology is that we're learning about ourselves. Okay? It's things that we can relate to personally and we get to look at it from a whole range of things from the brain, how the brain works, right the way up into big social groups. Why does we act the way we do in big social interactions? I think that's one of the reasons why psychology is so popular and it's one of the reasons why we feel so passionate and excited about it because it, it's something that we are genuinely interested in. The degree that we offer here is extremely flexible. Uh, it's a degree that's open to students right across the board from arts to science. Uh, we cover the full range and because of that flexibility we have a, a really great group of, of students who come in and work with us from different perspectives. You're not expected to have a background in psychology, we're teaching you from the basics up, but what we offer you here um, is that you are getting uh, taught by full-time members of staff who are leading researchers in their field. So they're the people who are coming up with the ideas and finding support for the ideas that we're teaching you about. Uh, and I think that's a remarkable opportunity. One of the greatest challenges I think we face as educators uh, is trying to help students make this transition from school pupil to independent investigative learner. And that's a really big leap that we're expecting. And here at the School of Psychology and Neuroscience, we make a real effort to think carefully about how we teach our classes. We come up with new innovative strategies for allowing you to experience different types of learning so that you can grow and develop into an independent thinker. I think that's one of the key things we want you to achieve. We're teaching your curriculum, of course, but beyond just that, we want you to leave with the skills to be able to communicate with the skills confidence to be able to question things when they're given to you, not just to take things at face value. In our first year classes, uh, students engage in learning in a variety of different ways. So we've got our regular big classroom lectures uh, where we have staff coming in and explaining the ideas, explaining their research to you. We also have smaller lab group settings where uh, we use a lot of different techniques for learning and understanding the ideas that we've been talking about. 
we have uh, group work, we have independent work. We like you to work on computers, pen and paper. Uh, we like you to have discussions in small groups, discussions in big groups. We incorporate a whole lot of different strategies and techniques to learning uh, because I think that's what helps us to, to get the information clear in our heads for it to make sense and for it to stick with us. Uh, and so that's one of the goals we have in first year psychology. We're small enough to feel like a community. Uh, so when you come into our school, you'll get to know each other. You also get to know the staff members. Right from first year, you're put in situations where you're able to talk to them um, on a personal level. Uh, and I think that that's reflected by a school that's very approachable. We have an open door policy. And I think that makes a world of difference when you're engaging at your studies at university. To feel part of something is important. We get you to engage in research right from the start. So we get you coming up with ideas, we get you thinking about how to design studies, and we get you to go out there, collect the data, and figure out what you've found, what your results show you. And I, and I think that's so important, because everything you're learning about when you come to the lectures has been based on someone doing that very thing. They've been carrying out their research and they've presented their ideas to you. And if you can engage in that process yourself, then it makes the information you're learning that much more meaningful. We've got a subject that is genuinely interesting to everybody. We love to learn about ourselves and there's going to be some aspect of what we offer you that you are going to engage with and fully relate to. Um, I think that's special, especially because it's within a school that genuinely cares and, and is focused on teaching. That's important to us.